what is up guys welcome back to so another video my name is nash and in this video i'm going to be talking about a bunch of things and the first one being i learned how to code in python in less than two weeks it was about 10 11 days or so uh but to give a little disclaimer i about four years ago i was really into java programming and i did that for two years and then after that i went to college and just forgot about it so when you come from an object-oriented programming language like Java, especially if you understand the basics, it's going to be a lot easier to understand a programming language like Python. So I was able to, you know, learn all the basics, which is kind of like, you know, they give you a toolbox and you know how to use the tools. But actually using them is a different story, which is why I created my other channel, Code with Nash, where I basically just do a bunch of projects in Python. And that is the best way to learn by actually practicing and building something that actually does something so if you guys want to learn something new or just check it out uh, the link is in the description below and it's also on the screen so go ahead and check that out now i want to talk about exit opportunities as well all right so right after college i went to work as a financial analyst for about two years and i got all the way up to supervisor and then after that i switched over to consulting so consulting was my exit opportunity from finance or financial analyst uh, position just because i wanted to learn new things right if you're working as a financial analyst for a you know corporate company you're just going to be exposed to that company right maybe you are you know working in finance or something like that that's what you're going to be exposed to so you understand the company as a whole maybe you might understand how the business runs you might understand a bunch of things about the company but when you switch over to consulting you don't work for one company you work for hundreds of thousands of companies right a bunch of companies uh, that you're going to be doing projects for and each project is different so going from being a financial analyst to business consultant that was my exit opportunity now if you're working in finance as a financial analyst and you do it for maybe two or three years you might want to find an exit opportunity right and uh, this is going to allow you to maybe make more money and this is also going to allow you to learn new skills build at different connections maybe with a different company or maybe a different industry right for me i went to business consulting under finance so that's what i'm doing right now now if you go into consulting the one of the things you're going to hear is exit opportunities right and this is this usually happens when consultants have worked for two years especially in the big four and big four consulting after two years you know consultants start to look for um you know exit opportunities right and uh, this is because they say that one year in consulting is equivalent to two years worth of work experience if you're working for any other company this is because in consulting you work with a lot of companies right so i might be consulting for this company for maybe two weeks or maybe two months or maybe a year i'm going to be learning what they do right if they use these systems the processes they do i have to learn those things right after the project is over i have to go to a different company and learn exactly what they do so you can see that how you're gaining a lot of skills so here's a good example i was on a project where i had to learn how to do data analytics right i can do that in microsoft excel but if you use python or maybe sql those are languages that can help you do the work a lot faster so in order to do the work a lot faster i had to learn the basics of these languages while on the job right so that's why consulting gives you a lot of tools and that is why this was my exit opportunity from uh, being you know a, a, a financial analyst to being a business consultant now once consultants have worked for about two years or so they become i think you go from staff one staff two and i think staff three or you go into senior after that most big four business consultants will look for exit opportunities once they hit uh, two years you know which is probably senior or sometimes even like manager or something like that they go into tech they go into a bunch of different industries and if you you know the thing that you know you work for you work for a big four consultant and you have that on your resume it's gonna look like you know prestigious even though it's not really prestigious it's just like the how it's perceived right you're perceived as you know someone who's smart someone who's you know it's just like how it's looked at so you're offered more money it's a lot easier to go from consulting and double your money outside of consulting because uh, that's just how it is right people leave consulting as seniors or maybe managers and they go to being directors of different companies maybe vps of finance and things like that and this is all because of how you know how much work experience you've had right you you do not have just 
you know, work experience based on one company. You've worked with a bunch of companies and you probably know how to work in teams. So you, there's a lot of skills uh, that come with business consulting that a lot of companies are willing to hire ex-consultants. And uh, one of the things I've seen is consultants go work at banks, you know, as maybe managers or maybe directors or VPs of things. And I've also seen a bunch of consultants going to a uh, tech startup companies and they make great money. They easily double how much they make. So do I have an exit strategy? You always have to have an exit strategy. How are you going to exit? How are you making yourself better? You know, you have to build uh, these high income skills, right? Like me learning how to program in Python. I can easily go get a data analyst job, right? Because a lot of people that apply for these jobs, they have, you know, they maybe know how to do SQL. They also know how to use Excel and things like that. But I can just add Python in there, right? I am very experienced in Python or something like that. So that is how you build high income skills and building these skills while you work at your job uh, is going to allow you to, you know, have an exit strategy. So that's what you have to do. Once you get home, don't just sit and watch TV or your favorite show. I do that too, but I make sure that I invest into some of the skills, you know, into those high income skills or skills that are going to pay you or skills that are going to build towards your exit strategy. Always have an exit strategy so that is pretty much it for this video um make sure to go ahead and check out my other channel code with nash if you want to see some of the cool projects that i'm going to be working on uh, right now just like small projects but hopefully soon i'll be working on more complex projects i'm trying to learn this uh, you know step by step or project by project but um yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next one peace